Hello and welcome to another episode of North From Here. Today is November 12th. It's a Thursday morning and I've just arrived here at Evo hiking and camping area. Evo is a pretty popular area for hiking, camping, yeah, and car camping and fishing, that sort of stuff. And uh, the lynx is some sort of a mascot for the area. And the hiking trail network here is called the Lynx Trail. And it says here that there are around 70 kilometers of trails for hiking here. So that's pretty nice. If I remember correctly, the size of the area was 47 square kilometers. I'm here at Rahtijärvi parking lot now. And I'll be heading northeast from here along the lakes, Rahtijärvi, Savijärvi, Sorsajärvi and so on. I haven't decided yet that where I'll be spending the night, but I'm going to go to at least Sorsakolu or Vaarinkorpi campsites. And I'm going to have to see, it, see to it as I go that how far do I want to go today. I don't like to make too strict plans beforehand. I'm going to get on the trail and I'm going to see how it feels and how far do I want to go. If I come to a very nice camping spot, I might stay there because of that, or then just go on and look for a better place, and so on. Okay, let's get going. First stop is Sorsakolu. It's four kilometers from here. The weather is typical late fall weather. It's damp. It's a couple of degrees on the positive side. The clouds aren't massively thick today, so there is some sunlight coming through them. That's nice. The trail network is marked with these paw marks here. Oh, here's a tree taken down by beavers. Here's another one falling across the path. They don't want us here. There's a beaver dam, and they do that to raise the water level. Now there's some sunlight through the clouds and there's even a bit of a blue sky visible there. How cool is that? Even more signs of beavers. And that's a large tree that's taken some work. Even the dark colors of late fall look very nice with the little sunlights on them. I've been on the trail for an hour now and I've warmed up and uh, I feel very good about the walking. I've got no strain or ache anywhere. It's completely quiet here. There's not even a breeze of wind. I do miss the birds at this time of the year. A lot of them have moved somewhere where it's warm and sunny. <laughs> I'm gonna have a short break here. I think about my route and uh, just kind of hang out for a bit. I generally don't like to have my backpack on the ground and uh, for hanging it up I have this system it's a piece of paracord that's folded like that and then there are knots on it and a carabiner 
So I put the cord around a tree like this with the buckle end here <coughs> and I put it through a loop like that then kind of tighten it a bit like so and then I secure the backpack on the carabiner like that So I was thinking, since I'm here now at Sorsakolo, I might go around further this way and check this place out, maybe spend the night there or go all the way around and return here for the night. It's a nice afternoon. There was a chance of light rain, but it doesn't look like that at all now. Okay, I'm back on the trail now, continuing onwards. I arrived at Varinkorpi. There's the toilet, firewood shed, here's the lean to shelter. Feels great to get my feet up after some walking. Very comfortable. It's now 3.50 in the afternoon and it's getting dark. We're still six weeks from the solstice, so the days will be getting shorter and shorter for quite a while still until we turn for the spring side of the year first and foremost the coffee which is coming up here and uh, I have some good food for tonight here I have 275 grams of salmon and macaroni vegetables cream cheese and cream and out of these I'll make a sauce there's some concentrated tomato I also have some beans for another meal this will go into it and then there's some chips and chocolate and some oatmeal for a kind of a backup snack Dinner number one is ready. It looks pretty good too. Gonna let it cool down for a bit before I eat. Well, it's completely dark now and uh, there's a ridiculously thick fog here that I can see in the light of the lamp. I'm not sure if it shows on the camera.
but uh, I'm gonna go and make a fire at the lean-to shelter and hang out there for a couple of hours. Okay, I'm gonna roast this piece of salmon now on the fire and to do that I have this grill a camping grill that you attach to a stick and it's ready to use very convenient piece of gear oh yeah That's good, good stuff. Good morning. I slept for over 12 hours, <laughs> which is crazy, but I did. And, uh, I woke up a lot of times in the night and there was somewhat of a rain. You could hear it on the tarp, you know, very light rain. But uh, yeah. <sighs> and after 12 hours of sleeping I don't feel like having just a light breakfast I'm gonna make some proper food even more beaver damage here they are somewhat fascinating animals those tooth marks they look like some machine would have chewed on the tree I guess they are very effective at what they do. I might even do some research on them. A quick word on this mid layer that I'm wearing. I've had this warm piece down jacket on a couple of trips now and I must say I'm very satisfied with it. It costs way less than the jackets of the more premium brands and uh, I see absolutely no issues with quality so far. Okay, it's time to head back to the car. I've packed up all my stuff, taken my trash, and I'm ready to go. So, uh, goodbye, Sorsakolo. Okay, it's now 2.45 in the afternoon and I'm back at the same place where I started. Thank you for joining me on this trip and I hope you liked it. I certainly did. Please do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with other people who might like them too. Until next time, goodbye and take care.